video I'm going to show you the sine rule. Now the sine rule is just a method to work out angles or sides in non-right angle triangles that look like this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to label the angles with capital letters. So I've chosen A, B and C. Now the sides that are opposite those angles are the same letters. So if this is angle A, this must be side A, and this is angle B, so this is side B. Just remember to use lowercase when you label the sides. So the angles are all capital letters, and the sides are non-capital letters. So down here, we've got the sine rule. Now, these are exactly the same. They're just two different versions that we use to make our rearranging a bit easier later on. So when you're calculating sides, it's better to use this version, so you've got the sides on top. And if you're calculating angles, then it makes sense to use this one. So you've got the angles as the numerators instead. So let's have a look at this in the example over here. So I'm going to start by labelling the two angles with capital letters. So I'm going to call that angle A and that angle B, which means this side must be A because it's opposite angle A, and this side must be B because it's opposite angle B. So, because I'm finding a side, I'm going to use this version here of the sine rule, and I'm using A and B, so I'm just going to take that section of the sine rule to use over here. So, write out your working out. It's always good to show your working out to get full marks in the question. And next, we're just substituting in everything we know from here into this equation. So, Side A, we know is 7 centimetres, so you can change that to a 7. Angle A, we know is 60, so we can write sine 60 underneath. Over on the right, well, we don't know what B is yet, so I'm just going to leave that the same. But we do know angle B is 50, so I can replace that with sine 50 instead. Now I'm just solving this equation. At the moment, B is being divided by sine 50, so we have to do the opposite. So we have to multiply. So just remember, you have to multiply both sides of the equation to keep the equation balanced. On the right-hand side, that just cancels, and we're left with 1B. And on the left-hand side, you need to put it in the calculator. So type this fraction in, and if you're using the fraction button, like me, just make sure you close those brackets after the 60 degrees before you then multiply it by sine 50. And if I round that to three significant figures, I get 6.19 centimetres. So that's the first one. All right, I'm going to make it a bit harder. Okay, so this one is a little bit more difficult because now we have two unknowns. We've got to work out both of these sides up here. So I'm going to start by labelling my two angles. I know this is angle A and this is angle B, which means this one over here is side A and this one over here is side B. So I can get to work and find out what this length is now. I won't worry about this one just yet, I will do that one afterwards. So again, we're finding a side, so we want this version of the sine rule, and I'm using A and B again. So just jot that down, A over sine A, and B over sine B, and then we're just substituting in again into this equation. So we know that side A is equal to Y, and angle A is 70, so I can write sine 70 instead. And this one over here, well, I've got side B, which is 7 metres, so 7, and angle B is 80. So now I can just solve this equation. Y is being divided by sine 70 at the moment, so you need to do the opposite, and you need to multiply. Just remember to do the same thing to both sides of your equation. On the left-hand side, where you do the opposite, it just cancels, and we're left with 1Y. And on the right-hand side, well, you just pop that in the calculator. So put that fraction in your calculator. If you're using the fraction button, just remember to close your brackets after that 80 degrees there, before you then multiply by sine 70. So when you put that in the calculator, 
you get 6.793 dot 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 and I'm going to round that answer to three significant figures so one two three but that nine rounds that number up to the number eight so it's 6.68 okay and this time it's in meters okay so there is the first one now we're going to work out this length at the top so side x so before I can do that, before I can work out this side, I must know the angle that's opposite that side. So this one here. Luckily, I know what these two angles are. And I also know all the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So 70 plus 80 is 150, which means that one must be 30 if they're all going to add up to 180. So now that I've got that angle, I'm going to label that angle with a capital C, so a letter I haven't already used, which means this is side C up here. So we're finding a side again, so we're still using this version of the side rule, so we want the sides on top. So I'm going to write side C over sine of angle C. And then I need to choose another pair to put equal to. Well, I have a choice. I could use B and B, or I could use A and A, but it's better to use the one that's given in the beginning of the question, because this one is one I calculated. So not only did I round that, so it's not as accurate as this one, but if I had made a mistake here, that mistake would carry on into the second part of the question. So I'm going to stick with using angle B and side B, okay, because I know those ones were right from the beginning. So remember, we've got sides on top, so we've got B over sine angle B. Now I can substitute into that equation again. So side C, we don't know yet, so I'm just going to call that X. Angle C, we just worked out was 30. Side B, we know is 7 meters. And angle B is 80. So now we're just solving the equation again. So if x is being divided by sine 30, the opposite is to multiply. Remember to do the same thing to both sides of your equation. On the left hand side where we're doing the opposite, it just cancels and we're left with 1x. And on the right hand side, we put that in the calculator. So put that fraction in the calculator again. So we've got 7 over sine 80, not forgetting to close those brackets just here, and then you can multiply that fraction by sine 30. So that gives me 3.5539, and again, I'm going to round to three significant figures. So one, two, three, and that three doesn't round that five up. So it's just 3.55 meters. Okay, so that's calculating sides. In the next example, we're going to find an angle. finding an angle but it's very similar to the previous examples there's just going to be one more step at the end of the question so I'm going to start the same way and I'm going to label what I know on this triangle so let's call this angle A and this angle B which means this side must be side A and this side must be side B so remember this time we're using this version of the sign rule because we're finding an angle in this question so you want the angles as the numerators so we're using a and b again so i'm just taking that first part so if i write that out over here i'm then just substituting into that equation and then we're going to solve so angle a is the one we don't know so i'm just going to leave that as sign a Side A, we do know, is 8 centimetres, so I can change that A to an 8. Over here, sine of angle B, well, angle B is 47, so I can write sine 47. And the denominator is side B, which is 10 centimetres, so I can just write 10. So, just like before, to get rid of this fraction, the opposite of dividing by 8 is to multiply. So you times by 8, not forgetting to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. On the left hand side that just cancels and we're left with 1 sine A. And on the right hand side, well you could put that in the calculator and that give you a decimal answer. But because we're not finished yet, I would just wait a minute and we're going to do one more thing before we use the calculator. 
So at the moment, we've got that fraction before and we said we would multiply by 8. Remember, we haven't finished until we've got capital A by itself, so we need to get rid of sine. Well, if you divide by sine on the calculator, you'll, you'll get an error. So what you need to do is you need to use your calculator and find sine minus 1. So usually, you have to press shift and then the sine button. So in order to find angle A, you press shift and then sine, and that will give you sine minus 1. It's like dividing by sine but just on the calculator, and then you've still got everything that was there before. That fraction, sine 47 over 10, multiply by 8. So you're just doing sine minus 1 of whatever that answer was. So you could put it all into the calculator in one go, like this, not forgetting, just like in the other examples, to close those brackets around the angle 47. And that gives me... If I round it to one decimal place for this angle, 35.8 degrees. Okay, so it was exactly the same. There was just one more step at the end. You need to remember to do sine minus one before you put all of that in the calculator. Okay, let me find a really hard one to finish. Okay, so in this last question, I'm calculating an angle again. So I need this version here of the sine rule. So the angles as the numerators. So start by labelling the diagram again. So let's call this one capital A, which means that must be side A. So if we call this angle B, that would be side B. But the problem is, in order to work out this angle, we need to know the opposite side, and we don't know it. Okay, so what we're going to do to start with is we're going to work out this side, this angle, sorry, because we know the side that's opposite. So you need to take them in pairs. You've got to have an angle and a side, a side and an angle. We can't use this angle because we don't know the side that's opposite. So let's call this angle here capital B, which means this one is side B. So we're using A and B again, so you can just jot that down. And then we're substituting in everything we know, just like what we've been doing in the other questions. So, sine of capital A, well, we know capital A is 67. Side A, we also know, is 8 centimetres, so you can change that to 8. Capital B, we don't know, that's what we're trying to find, so that stays the same. And side B, we know, is 6.5. So... We're trying to solve this equation to find B. So we need to get rid of this divide by 6.5. So the opposite of dividing is to multiply. Remember to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. On the right-hand side, where you do the opposite, it just cancels, and you're left with sine B. And on the left-hand side, well, you could calculate it, but we're not going to calculate it just yet, because we've got one extra step to find capital B. So let me carry on up here. I'm just going to write that out again. So we've got that fraction multiplied by 6.5 on the left and sine B left over on the right. So remember, to get rid of that sine, you can't type divide by sine in the calculator. You have to find sine minus 1. So you press shift and then sine on your calculator to get the sine minus 1. And then you have to type in all of this. This hasn't gone anywhere. This is still there. So you're finding sine minus 1 of all of that. So you've got that fraction, sine 67 over 8, not forgetting to close the brackets around that angle 67 before you multiply by 6.5. So I'm just going to write that out again just so we can see all the working out. So that gives me 48.4 degrees. So that was angle B. So this one here. So, remember what the question asked for? It asked for this angle up here. So, now we need to subtract those two angles from 180 degrees in order to work out the final angle. Remember, all the angles in triangles always add up to 180 degrees. That's why we're allowed to subtract from 180. So, if I do that, my answer to one decimal place is 64.6 degrees. Okay, so there's finding angles using the sine rule. I hope that makes sense. 
Soon I'll have another video on the cosine rule, which is finding angles and sides in non right angle tri triangles again, but using three sides and an angle instead of these pairs that we've been using today. So that's all from me today, and goodbye.